When you're replacing an outlet with a GFCI, the first thing you need to know is whether that circuit is 15 or 20 amp. So take a look at the breaker or the fuse. It's going to be marked 15 or 20. A 15 amp GFCI is going to have two parallel slots. A 20 amp GFCI is going to have one slot that's a T-shape. The next thing you need to know is whether you have one or two cables coming into the electrical box where you're going to be connecting this. If there's one cable coming into the box, you have a hot wire, a neutral wire, and a ground, you're going to be using the line side on the back of the GFCI. So on the GFCI, you're going to have a line side with a brass and a silver screw and a load side. Generally, the load side is going to be covered with tape. If you have one cable, you're going to be connecting the hot black wire to the brass side, the white neutral wire to the silver side, and your ground wire to the green grounding screw. If you're in an area that uses conduit, you may not have a ground wire. If you have two cables that are coming into the electrical box, you're going to have two white wires, two black wires, and now you're going to be using the line and the load side. You need to find out which cable is coming from the service panel. So you're going to turn off the power, and whenever you're doing any electrical projects, always turn off the power, double check it with an electrical tester. A shock under the right conditions can be deadly. So you're going to turn off the power, make sure it's off, remove the old outlet. You're going to separate the wires so nothing's touching. You're going to turn your power back on, and you're going to test the two black wires. When you find the black wire that's hot, you're going to mark that wire, and that's your hot cable coming from the service panel. Turn off the power, and then you're going to connect that cable that you marked to the line side, the hot wire to the brass screw, the neutral wire to the silver screw, you're going to connect the other cable to the load side and then connect your ground. When you're using the load side, everything past this GFCI will be protected.